Hey, good morning, Refuge. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, this is a Wilson Wednesday, but it's actually being filmed here on Sunrise. And actually, the it feels like the sun is a little bit, it's, it's coming out quick. Anyways, I'm here with Brooke, and Brooke didn't know this was gonna happen at all. Not at all. She's gonna <laughs> sing a song. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, She's not gonna man. sing it. <laughs> Hold on, and I there's, gotta warm up. <laughs> there's Brooke's parents over there. We're saying hi. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Uh, so this is sunrise, mm -hmm. and Jesus rose on mm -hmm. this day. Amen. So tell me what that means to you, Brooke, in 30 seconds or less. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, oh man, it's my life. I feel like my whole life is owed, and I think. For me, what I think about the crucifixion and the resurrection, it's all about the cost and thinking about how as people that we were born to worship um, and it cost Christ yeah. everything to be the sacrifice for us. So why shouldn't we give our lives towards that too? And, and Brooke knows something about worship as she often leads <laughs> refuge in worship. So thanks, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Wilson Wednesday here. I am with faithful servant and brother in the Lord who is here actually in the cafe uh, doing a, we're going to do a fundraiser today, which actually is, uh, we're, this is Easter morning. Uh, when you're watching, it'll be Wednesday. Um, but we're doing a, uh, uh, fundraiser for the Johnsons. Yes, we are. Uh, yes, but we are. here I am with Mike Mashad and Christine is out there. Uh, but I just thought, Hey Mike, what does Easter mean to you? Um, it, rene it really, what it really means is renewed hope. Renew hope. The the light can shine uh, brighter for myself and my wife and our life here. And Jesus is risen, and He is going to be even with us stronger. And I, my plan is to walk straight and narrow, and do not sway when I'm walking with Him. And that is Mike in a, in a nutshell. So thanks, Mike. Thank you. This is Ryan and Julie, and they're heading off to tell people about Jesus. Some people thought, well, why why would we do this on on, on Easter Sunday? Where you know, there isn't a better time to do this. Because the message of, what was the message of Easter? What was the message of Resurrection Day? Oh yeah, he's... Hey, Wilson Wednesdays, I'm here with Chase. Hey. Uh, we're at the uh, Easter sunrise service. And Chase got up early this morning. What time, Chase? Did, um, you know, I think it was 4.15. 4.15, that's nothing, there right? There you go, yeah. Uh, and we had a great turnout, or having a great turnout for Easter we sunrise. Did. So thanks for, if you came, thank you. We'll see. If not, we'll see you at the 9 and 11. Yes. And what I thought we'd get from Chase is what Easter means uh, to him or why it's such a big deal oh. in the Acuna family. Yeah, you know, actually, my wife and I were just talking about this. We were saying, um, you know, the, re the resurrection is the central thing for the believer, right? Um, but we were saying that Easter gives us one of those days where we always live in the reality of that, but at the same time, we get to slow down and remember what Christ has done for us. And so Easter is such an amazing opportunity to be able to testify and tell others um, and also to remember ourselves um, what Jesus has done on our behalf. Woo! <laughs> and, and, and take that life hack. Take that, that victory over death for you. That's what Jesus came to do for you. And in 1 Corinthians 15, 26, it tells us this. This is true. I'm not making this up. The last enemy you will face is called death. And I'm not excited about the moment of death itself, but that moment is going to come, just like Charlie. Charlie, I'm sorry. I'm just really <laughs> pounding on you today. But I'm going to face it. And I'm not going to be afraid of it. I'm going to be able to look death in the face and say, and the devil and say, you lose. 